You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Thank you for watching CNA Heroes. As always, thank you for viewing these segments about extraordinary CNAs. If you enjoy these segments, please share them with friends. Let's spread the word about these awesome individuals. Throughout my career, I've been fortunate enough to work with some fantastic CNAs. Some of my favorite CNAs have actually been related to one another, making me realize that compassion and caring can be qualities that run deep within families. Thank you to the Marshall Independent out of Marshall, Minnesota for initially publishing this beautiful story. Emily Pokart is a CNA at Morningside Heights, working there for nearly 16 years. Emily said that after she had her children, she had a desire to help people, so she became a CNA and worked in home care before switching to long-term care. Over the years, her children, Dean and Belinda, also became familiar with her work at Morningside Heights. Emily's son, Dean Pokart, states, we were around it our whole lives, he said. I remember standing here at the nursing home waiting for the school bus if there was a snowstorm or something. In bad weather, it was easier to catch the school bus by driving to Marshall with their mom than waiting at their home in rural Lind, he said. So as Belinda and Dean entered high school, Emily encouraged them to check out the CNA certification program available through Marshall Public Schools. What a smart mom. Emily told her children that the CNA course gives you high school credit and college credit too. That's a win-win. She told them the experience of being a CNA could also open up a potential career path. So over time, it's also becoming something of a family calling. Emily and two of her children, her daughter Belinda and son Dean, are all CNAs together at Avera Morningside Heights Care Center. Belinda and Dean said it's not only a family connection that sparked their interest in nursing, it was also their mother's example. Emily states, they lived this almost their whole lives. It's just part of us. Daughter Belinda says that her mom made her love helping people. Her mom's example was another reason she was interested in nursing. Belinda went from working as a lifeguard to becoming CPR certified to getting her CNA certification and working at Morningside Heights. She said she works the same unit as her mom and they even have weekend shifts together. Her son Dean stated, I think mom helped a lot with pushing me to take the class. Her encouragement definitely paved the way. There are a lot of misconceptions about what being a CNA is like, the Pocards said. The Pocards as in all three of them. While it can be part of what CNAs help nursing home residents with, you're not going to spend eight hours in the bathroom, Emily said. The Pocards said working a shift at Morningside Heights can include assisting residents with meals, reading to residents or taking them on walks, or even painting a resident's fingernails. The past year, with the COVID-19 pandemic, it has been very challenging for long-term care workers and for residents, the Pocart said. It was rough on the residents. They didn't get to see their families, Belinda said. Things did get better for residents when Morningside Heights was able to set up iPads to do video calls with residents' families, the Pocards said. For caregivers, the pandemic was also tough in different ways. 
The Poke Guards said wearing full protective gear and masks could make it hard to communicate with residents, especially if the residents were hard of hearing. The Poke Guards said there was also the worry that they could inadvertently expose residents to the COVID virus, even with safety precautions. At the same time, Belinda said working through the pandemic helped her see a whole new side of nursing. Morningside Heights Administrator Mary Swanson said of the Poke Guards, all three are dedicated to what they do. Last year, Dean even went right from attending his high school graduation ceremony to working a night shift at Morningside Heights. We literally could not do the work we do without these three and others like them. Emily Pokart said the connections she's made, she's been able to make with the residents at Morningside Heights are a big part of why she loves her job. She says your day is never the same as before. Both Belinda and Dean say they want to pursue careers in healthcare. Belinda is attending nursing school at the University of Sioux Falls with the help of a long-term care scholarship from Avera Morningside Heights. Swanson said Morningside Heights has scholarship opportunities both for employees who pursue careers in healthcare and employees pursuing degrees in other fields like business, teaching, or information technology. Part of the scholarship requirements include that recipients work at Morningside Heights a minimum of 10 hours a week. Dean is currently a sophomore at Concordia College where he's studying nursing and chemistry. While he hasn't started his clinicals yet, he said working as a CNA definitely helps with his studies. Dean comes back to Morningside Heights when he has breaks from school. In the future, he would like to work in intensive care or as a certified registered nurse anesthetist. Belinda Pokart said she had thought of maybe becoming a midwife, but she still feels a connection to long-term care. Right now I come here and I know all my residents, she said. She wants to come back to Morningside Heights after nursing school. What an extraordinary family of compassionate, loving, and dedicated individuals. Emily, we here at NACA are so grateful for the years you have dedicated to serving others. You are such a great example of a professional CNA and you have instilled such wonderful values and respect for others in your children. Dean and Belinda, you followed your mother's example as a professional CNA and a fantastic human being. Thank you all for your work and your efforts and especially your dedication to the frail and elderly who depend on you. This is a first for CNA Heroes. Congratulations, Emily, Belinda, and Dean Pokart. You are all three our CNA Heroes.